Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're shifting our attention from Nemokovic in the Kingdom of Montenegro to Uzrum in Anatolia for Turkey for the Battle of Koprikoy, part of the Cox's campaign and was the initial battle of the Uzrum Offensive occurring from January 10th through the 19th, 1916. In a continuing series of bad luck, the Ottomans once again are under attack, but this time it's by Russian Empire General Nikolai Yudnik. General Yudnik was a loyal supporter of the Tsar and served after the Russians left World War I as part of the White Movement and the White Army in a struggle to stop the Communist Bolsheviks. With him was the majority of what was known as the Russian Caucasus Army, comprising of 75,000 Russian soldiers. Defending against the Russian push was our regular Halil Kut and Abdul Karim Pasha and their 65,000 Ottoman soldiers of the 3rd Ottoman Army. Also, we should note that while 65,000 Ottoman soldiers being dug into defensive positions sounds good on paper, this did not reflect reality. The entire Ottoman forces in this theater were 126,000 men, but only about 50,000 of them were combat capable. In addition, the Ottoman forces only had a total of 74,000 rifles for all their men, 80 machine guns, and 180 artillery pieces. This was for the entirety of the theater, and this position only held approximately half of those troops. While the Ottoman army was well prepared and dug in positions, in the end it wouldn't stop the well-informed Russian general and his army, resulting in one of the now rare Russian victories. The Ottoman high command was unaware of any Russian ideas of expansion into the area and had assumed it was safe. This means they left fewer troops than was needed. They believed they made up for any concerns by having the third army set up in two lines of defenses, using the terrain as cover with what they had on hand in artillery and machine guns. Meanwhile, General Yudnik had started the Cox's campaign and was well aware of the placement of the Ottoman forces. He was especially emboldened knowing that the Ottoman forces didn't have many reserves to call upon. Therefore, his goal was to ultimately break through at the Kakir Baba Ridge. Yudnik directed his 4th and Rifle Division to lead the first attack, a diversion away from the Kakir Baba Ridge. On January 10th, elements of the Russian 4th Rifle Division started a series of diversionary attacks. The goal wasn't to push through, nor was to defeat the Ottomans. Rather, it was to attract and keep as many of the Ottoman forces distracted as they could, allowing the rest of the Russian forces to attack their other positions. The Russians suffered heavy losses over the next three days, but the mission was a success, and eventually forced Ottoman General Abdul Karim Pasha to send the Ottoman 17th Division, his only reserve force, to help stop the misleading attack on January 13th. The 17th Division, along with the already fighting Ottoman 18th, 28th, 33rd, and 34th Divisions, all pushed against what was believed to be the main Russian attack. Yudnik had been waiting for this counterattack, and the next morning of January 14th, he unleashed the entirety of his remaining Russian forces against his main target, the Kakir Baba Ridge. The ridge was the original location of several of the Ottoman counterattack units that had moved away in order to attack the Russians' 4th Rifle Division's feints. The weather was horrific, the winter was harsh and unforgiving, and even with this, the Russians had almost broken through by January 15th. This is when Yudnik called in his Siberian Cossack reserves to tip the balance. By the 17th, the Ottoman forces were forced to withdraw, and the Cossacks massacred the rear guard of the Ottomans. Claiming victory, Yudnik acknowledged approximately 10,000 killed, wounded, or missing of his men due to the battle, but he had to chalk up an extra 2,000 casualties from the winter weather and frostbite. Meanwhile, the Ottoman 3rd Army lost almost a third of their forces, with 20,000 of the 65,000 men being killed, wounded, missing, or captured. Don't worry, Yudnik wasn't going to sit in his laurels. He started to turn his gaze to the main Ottoman fort at Ezrum itself. We'll talk about this one in one of our future videos. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.